How you doing? Sam Tolley, June 24, 2022. And the Lord has done a great thing today. Roe v. Wade has been overturned in the United States Supreme Court, which means abortion is no longer the law of the land. Now it's up to each state to decide whether they want to have babies ripped out of the womb of their mothers or not. Now on the left, they're going to go crazy. But they always go crazy when good prevails. What bothers me, what really gets to me, are people that call themselves Democrats that claim that they're Christians. And in particular, black Democrats who claim they're Christians. Thus far, I haven't heard one word from any of them celebrating the fact that more babies will live. The fact that over 20 million black babies have been butchered in the womb since 1973, and our population of black Americans are only about 40-something million, so a third of us have been butchered in the womb. You would think that they would celebrate this. But maybe they can't celebrate it because God used Donald Trump. He put in the conservative justices. And he said that he was going to bring in conservatives, um, pro-life justices. The one thing about Trump is he was the one candidate that really tried to do what he said he was going to do. And he did it, but my thing is, what are you people? You claim you love the Lord. But you vote for people that stand against him. And when something positive that's God honoring happens, you're silent. Many folks say you're not Christians at all. Some wonder if you're just demonically possessed or demonically influenced because the only thing well, that I notice that excites you, or if there's an upcoming election of some Democrat, which all of you put your hat in for and talk about how you ought to vote for this person, or some white policeman kills a black man, then you're all animated about that. It doesn't matter that over 300,000 black babies are ripped out the womb every year. It doesn't matter that Thousands of black men and women and little kids are killed, murdered by other black people and black and black crown. Those things don't motivate you. But you let some white man, justly or unjustly, like in the case of George Floyd, kill a black man and you guys are up in arms. But that's what the liberals want you to be. And when people like Biden who said that if you don't know the difference between him and Trump and that black folks can't get the internet and all kinds of other racist stuff, run for office, you vote for him. And when the economy goes to hell and it's all messed up, I hear nothing from you people. The only thing I see is you'll make positive posts about, well, God's going to see me through and God's all for me and I'm on the Lord's side. But when it comes time to stand up for Jesus, when it comes time to tell other people that we're supposed to be light instead of salt, when it comes time to stand up for the unborn, when it comes time to stand against transgenderism and sodomy and all this other vile stuff, I hear nothing from you people. And now that one of the greatest tragedies that bestowed this country from the greatest mass murderers in history and I'll say that those are those 1973 Supreme Court justices, one amongst who was Thurgood Marshall, has been overturned. And has been overturned by another black justice, uh, Clarence Thomas, who the media claims is a monster. Yet Clarence Thomas has stood up for the unborn for years. And the other day, he stood up and wrote the opinion guaranteeing protecting, I should say, our Second Amendment rights, particularly those folks in New York that's been denied the opportunity to carry concealed weapons. 
You guys don't say anything about that either. Because it seems to me that the only thing that you guys will get excited about is what the white liberals tell you you can get excited about. Because I don't see you getting excited about Jesus other than, oh, Jesus is going to see me through. But if anything that the white liberals tell you is bad, I see silence. When are you guys going to stand up for the God you claim you serve? Or are you really already standing up for the true God that you serve, which isn't the God of the Bible? You tell me. I thank God that Roe v. Wade was overturned. I thank God that he used Donald Trump to do it. I thank God that there are still black men in America that will stand up for truth and they will stand up for the God of the Bible. This is Sam Tolley. I'm out.